Hi, this is Eddie with Shrooms To Go. Let's talk about loading our pressure cooker. Now, I'm a small producer, backslash hobbyist, like I'm sure many of you are. And uh, my work area is actually out in my garage. I don't have any big fancy lab uh, or anything to, uh, to grow mushrooms in. So uh, to sterilize my mushroom substrate, I use a duct top induction burner a uh, commercial induction burner. It was about $175. I got it off of Amazon. I really, really like it. And then I use the uh, Presto 23 quart um, pressure cooker. I found they've worked really well. Uh, I've been using this one for over a year now. So one of the important things that I've done is I've taken the trivet uh, it, that, that comes with the pressure cooker and I've added some carriage bolts which are one and a quarter inches long to help keep my uh, mushroom bags off the bottom of the pressure cooker floor. Uh, this helps to keep your bags from rupturing and it also keeps from drowning them in water because inside your, inside your uh, pressure cooker there's a minimum fill line which is about there where I've put the black line with the Sharpie marker just to make it easier to see, which is the minimum amount of water you wanna have in your pressure cooker. Uh, when I put the carriage bolts in, uh, I've got, you'll notice there's two washers underneath there. One's a slightly larger washer than the 5 sixteenths washer below it uh, because the carriage bolts have a square head on top and you wanna make sure that your washer is big enough that you can completely uh, get the head to sit flat uh, on your cooker there on the on the uh, trivet top. So I've got four washers that are a bit oversized, um, so my carriage bolt will fit, and then I've got the regular five sixteenths washer, and then just a regular hex nut on that. I'll put that in my pressure cooker, and then I'll add water to make sure that I'm up to my line. There we go. I don't want to get more than enough in there uh, to, to drown my bags. So I'm going to load my bags and you'll see the water level will come up on the filter patch, but that's okay. Uh, your bag will do fine. Now, when I start to load my pressure cooker, I'll put the handles facing towards me and then I'll put the bags in from side to side. I'll show you that now as soon as I get them in. So when I load my bags in the pressure cooker, uh, the grain side is down. The grain side is sitting on the trivet in there and the edge of the flap is folded up. And you can see that the, that the line in between the bags lines up roughly with my handle here. Uh, so when I put the next two bags in, I'm going to rotate my uh, pressure cooker and I'm going to put my other bags in so that the the seam runs perpendicular to the bags that I already have in there and they go down with the grain side down as well there you go you can see how the bags are oriented in there and I'm going to go ahead and put the second bag in both bags are in the cooker and you can see it's full but there's still a little bit of room at the top and what I want to do next is I'm going to take a large plate, heavy dinner plate, and put over the tops of the bags. That'll keep the plastic from uh, swelling up or, or pushing up and uh, sealing the vent hole in my pressure cooker and turning it into a bomb. And now I'm going to turn my pressure cooker on, menu, boil, timer, timer, and that gives me thing. I'm going to set my pressure cooker for one hour. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to set my timer on my phone for 35 minutes. And I found that if I come back out in 35 minutes that the water has been brought up to a boil and that it's given ample time for the air to escape from the pressure cooker and will be blowing a good bit of steam out uh, so you'll be able to see that. At that point, then, I will put the, uh, the pressure weight 
on the uh, pressure cooker and allow it to start building up pressure. So um, once again, one hour, I'll come back out in 35 minutes and check it and we'll carry on from there. Okay, it's been uh, 35 minutes and we're back out here to the pressure cooker. You can't see it, uh, but it's bending a pretty good column of steam. You can see that the pressure lock is up on the canner and uh, we've got 25 minutes left on the uh, timer here. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and put on the weight and we're gonna give it basically about 20 minutes to come up to pressure. So we should have about five minutes left on the timer when we come back out here and it should be up to pressure. After that, we'll make our um, final timer settings and reduce our heat um, so it's not going too crazy and we're not boiling off too much water. Okay, we're up to pressure. Right on schedule. Now I'm going to turn this back down to about a seven and I'm going to set my timer for three hours. However, I'm gonna come back out here in 30 minutes and turn this down to about five on power because we don't want our pressure weight to be rocking quite that vigorously. We want it to just be barely moving and we want it to be right at 15 PSI. Okay, we're at 15 PSI. Um, our uh, weight's rocking a little faster than what I wanted, uh, but I've just turned it down to uh, 5.0 on power. And uh, you'll see when I come back out here in a few more minutes, how this really slows down the uh, rocking of the weight, which means we're losing less steam. And this is really important because you do not want your pressure cooker to boil dry. So it's really good to do this uh, after your pressure cooker has been running for about 30 minutes. And that's about how we want our weight to be rocking right there. You can see the dial is right at 15 PSI. The, there's not a lot of steam coming out and the uh, weight is not rocking really crazy. All right, we're gonna let this thing finish its runtime here. All right, our pressure cooker um, has gone through its three hour cycle. Um, it's cooled, allowed to cool overnight. Um, all the pressure's down, pressure is zero. I'm gonna open up the pressure canner take out the blocks and take them over to our impulse sealer and seal these bags right up. 